Jersey Crypto here. Guys, I don't care what anyone says right now. I'm just going to describe the market how I see it. And I'm, not, I'm talking no data, baby. No data at all. This is just a simple observation. Um, two years ago, roughly, I don't know how long I've been filming my face for. I feel like I've been saying two years for a long time. Maybe it's two and a half years at this point. The prices of coins are fluctuating. They're taking turns having these little tiny spikes at the bottom. It seems like we're making higher highs even though the sentiment is real low or whatever they want to say. Actually, you know what? Cut all that. No, no talking sentiment, anything. Their trade in place is spiking. The coins. They're going back down to the regular prices because stuff isn't moving enough for people to FOMO in. As Like what happened with Dogecoin. Dogecoin went from, you know, I don't know, what, what was it down to? 14, 15 cents? And it spiked up to 22 cents. And now it's sitting at, you know, 17, 18, whatever it is. You know, 18 cents roughly. It's because the 22 cents wasn't enough. I think it has to go to like 27 cents and break 27 cents before it starts going up substantially. And then once it breaks 35 cents, these numbers are the same as they were before. It never accomplished them yet. And, and the whole market can be described this way. Take the coin that you're looking at and you, you keep those numbers that you had in mind before you know, from four months ago for them to break through and apply it to now. The market's been in a consolidation mode and things are boring, but really there's just as much bullish and bearish news coming out. Like it, that, the, that's what's trading plays is too. You get a little bearish, you get a little bullish, you know what I mean? I got people commenting to me that, you know, I haven't been talking about Sia coin. I haven't really been talking about anything. My followers, I have had 300 followers for the past two, three months. I'm not adding to my following right now. I'm, I have nothing to say. I'm just talking about different stuff I'm entertaining myself with in the market. All of my um, positions are still intact. You know what I'm saying? So relax. If you're not relaxed, if you're not as relaxed as me, I'm more stressed out about what to say on this YouTube channel, which I don't even like, I don't even think about what I'm about to say. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Then the actual market. The market is entertaining me right now. It's giving me the opportunity to dabble in things. You need to spread out your, and this is not financial advice, I'm not even gonna talk about finances. Spread out your interests in the space and discover new things. Discover new information. I'm discovering information in NFTs, and I'm discovering in information in DeFi right now. And, and guess what? Once I discover my place, then I'll make a decision financially. Right now, the way I'm, I mean, my observating is like putting very little money in, you know, in relative to what my crypto bags look like. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I still like to play, I like the real life aspect of, of actually investing a little bit, but gradually up it as you get more comfortable and find out more information whatever you know you gotta be active be active you know what you can actually even if we are in a bear market which again we're not even talking about that we're just talking about some big consolidation it's boring right now that's literally the only thing to say about crypto crypto is boring right now there's good news there's bad news there's not a direction people want a direction in the market they want to know if they want to keep their money in or pull it out. And then the, the, the long-term holders just don't really, you know, they want they want more people, you know, than pricing. They want just, I'm a long-term holder, let me get more people involved. I want more people. So, and the more money you have in there and the more spread out it is in good projects, the more you'll see the growth of, of crypto. You know, if you don't if you don't consider the price of price and you actually consider it the size of the market, which essentially that's what it is, 
then you'll realize that you know Ethereum's been three thirty three hundred dollars forever right now because the whole market isn't growing right now it's moving sideways so not a big deal don't it's not it's not something to be crazy about um i uh i'm enjoying myself enjoy your life you know what i mean tune in every once in a while What's your favorite crypto guy saying? Uh, he's still bearish. Or then, like at once a week, you'll catch him on a good on a good mood in a good mood. He'll want to say something bullish. It's really up to you to say positive things. You can choose to say positive things no matter what's happening in the market. That's what people don't understand. They think they have to match whatever's already happening. No, you don't. You could say positive stuff if you want, even when everyone else is being negative. Check out my Twitter. I'm being. I'm choosing to change the direction of the people that that want to retweet my tweets. You were thinking bearish. Now you're thinking positive. It feels way way better. Just do that because it feels good. Let's keep it up. Stay in the markets. Not financial advice. Let's get those crypto gains, baby. Pinkies for the gains.